time for some magic abraca. No, I'm just kidding. Now it's time to stir it. So we have our stick here, and we're gonna mix this up. It's kind of like magic. Check out my glitter. Princess toy review. Hi, Prince and Princesses. It's Princess Team. Hi, Prince and Princess, Princess Fam. Today we are back with another fun science experiment called the Vinegar and Baking Soda Science Experiment with glitter. For this experiment, you will need some containers, food coloring, vinegar, baking soda, glitter, and a tray. We'll also need something to mix with. This is a fun experiment to do at home, but don't forget to ask your parents for help or permission. Okay, now let's get started. We're gonna start off by getting a tray each. Okay, we're gonna I don't wanna make a mess. Mm -mm. Okay, so you can have this mm -hmm. one, and I'll take this one, and next, we're going to each take a container. Okay. So, I say each of us make a big one and a small one. Alright, big one and how about this? Big and small. Okay, now let's add our ingredient. I'm gonna add the vinegar, which doesn't smell really good, so try not to smell it or spill it on yourself. Okay, and we're gonna pour it in my container. You can just kind of eyeball it. Okay, here you go, Princess Fam. Thank you. Ooh, okay. It's a little heavy. I'm going to add it into my flask here. Eh. Oh, 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 did you see that? It was a little spilly. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to add some in this one. Next, let's add some fun in our life and pick a color. I'm going to go with blue. I'm going to put a few drops in here. Okay, and my next color will be teal. And I'm just gonna add one drop here so it won't be too dark. Next, I'm going to mix it up. Ooh, there we go. And there we go. Your turn, Princess Fam. Okay, I'm going to go with pink and purple. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to put I'm taking this small one here. And I'm gonna do two. And for the purple, it's really, really dark. So I'm just going to put in one drop. And then I'm going to stir it up. Ooh, look at the colors, you guys. It is so awesome. Yep. So this one is my pink. I'm gonna move on over to my purple. Whoa, this one looks Ooh. like a potion. Now it's time to add some glitter in our life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go with, oh, there's so many options over here. I think I'm gonna go with this blue right here. Blue on blue. Yeah. And I'm just gonna add some glitter in here. Oh, look at that. And next I'm gonna add this silver right here. And let's just, Open it up and pour it in. Whoa! Your turn! Mm, well, since you used those, I'm going to use something else. Mm -hmm. I think I think I'm gonna use this gold one. Good choice. And mm. no, use this. Yeah. Good Let's choice. Let's do this. Let's add my gold into my pink one. Ooh, Ooh, that one's pretty. And then I'm going to add this pink or fuchsia looking one into my purple. Now it's time for some magic abraca. No, I'm just kidding. Now it's time to stir. So we have our stick here and we're gonna mix this up. It's kind of like magic. Check out my glitter. How's yours looking, Princess Bam? Mine is looking awesome. This one is the golden and pink. And mine just wants to flow because I guess the glitter is just, just so fine. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, mine's not mixing very well. I'm just going to leave it. It still looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's time for a chemical reaction. Let's add our baking soda into our vinegar. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I'm just going to add it until... Whoa! Check it out. It's like a volcano. It really is. And the glitter just makes it so much more pretty. Whoa, that was such a cool chemical reaction.
confessions. I want to try. So let's add my baking soda. I'm going to do the little one first. And let's see what happens. Whoa. How pretty. Look at that. There it goes. Whoa. Look at the glitter. I love it. Now it's my turn again to put my baking soda into my small one. So let's just put it in until we start seeing a really good chemical reaction. Oh. There we go! Whoa! I love, love the gold. It's going really, really fast. Check out all that foam. Oh, I love the two colors of the glitter mixing up. Mm -hmm. Hey, what if I add some more? Let's see if I can get another reaction going. Whoa, Whoa, I sure can. Are you guys ready? It's time for a giant reaction with my giant container. Okay, you ready, Princess Pam? I'm All ready. All right, I'm gonna put a whole bunch in here. And let's see what happens. Come on, come on, react. Whoa! Whoa. Look at all that glitter coming out. Wow, that was so cool. But Princess Fam, what's going on here to cause this chemical reaction? Well, what happens is when the vinegar and the baking soda are first mixed together, the hydrogen ions on the vinegar react with the sodium and bicarbonate in the baking soda. And it causes a chemical reaction. Wow, that's so cool. Learning about science can be so much fun. Yep, and it's super safe to do at home with your parents' help, of course. Okay, friends, that's the end of today's video. If you like more science experiments, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, princess and princesses. Bye. Bye. Princess Toy Review. Hi, Prince and Princesses, it's Princess T. Hi, Prince and Princess, Princess Fam. Today we're doing a fun science experiment. It's the density sink or float with school supplies. You can do this fun experiment at home with your siblings or your parents. All you need are a few items. You're gonna need a container filled with water and, of course, school supplies of your choice. So here we have some paint. Markers and matte pencils, a stapler, a ruler, a pencil, glue, scissors, and a folder. You can also use random things around your house. Hmm. Pop quiz. Do you know what the density of water is? Hmm. Do you guys know? Because I do, the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. So for today's experiment, we're gonna learn about density. We're gonna see if our school supplies will sink or float. Yep, so that means if the school supply density is less than the one of water, then it will float. But if it's more than one, then it will sink. All right, let's get started. As we're putting the item in our giant tub of water, let's shout the answer out loud. If you think the item would sink or float, this roller. Do you guys think this roller will sink or float? Sink or float? Okay, everyone say the answer out loud. Sink or float? All right, let's find out. <gasps> it it sunk. sunk! That means the density of the ruler is more than the density of the water. I honestly thought the ruler would float, but I guess I was wrong. Let's move on to the next school supplies. What do we have, Princess Fam? I am going to test the density of my mark. I'm just gonna take one. So, of course, I'm gonna go with purple. Okay, so before I put it in, remember, shout out if you think it's gonna float or sink. I'm gonna guess it's gonna float. Okay, let's, let's see. see. <gasps> You're right, it floats. That means the density of this marker is less than water, so it floats. Now what about this pencil? Do you think it will sink or float? Sink or float? Okay, shout the answer out loud. I think it's going to float. Let's see. Oh, I was right. It floats because the density of the pencil is less than water. 
Next, we're gonna check the density of the stapler. And it is really, really heavy, so that must mean it's gonna sink. And that also means that the density must be more than one. Are you sure? I am positively sure. All right, let's go ahead and put it in. Here we go. go, go, go. Whoa! Whoa! Straight to the bottom. You guys see that? It went straight to the bottom. Whoa, that's super cool. Okay, let's try out the next item. What about this glue? Do you think it will sink or float? Hmm, this that was a tricky, tricky one. one. Yep. Okay, let's find out because I really don't know either. But make a guess. Sink or float? Sink or float? Let's see. <gasps> oh! Ooh, ooh. I think it's so deciding. I would say that floats. Hmm. I mean, it's not really floating and it's not really sinking. That must mean the density is probably really close to that of the water, mm -hmm. which is really interesting because that seems so much more dense. I know. Wow. Hmm. I knew that was a tricky one. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, since that was the glue, how about we try this paint? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Will it sink or float? Mm -hmm. Hmm. I really don't know, but I'm going to say it's going to float. That means I have to guess that it's going to sink. Okay, let's find out. All right, here we go. <gasps> it floats! So the density of this paint is less than water. Time to try these scissors. Hmm, do you guys think they will sink or float? Sink or float? I think they're gonna float. Let's find out! And here we go! <gasps> Whoa! Straight to the bottom! I was wrong! So the density of these pair of scissors is more than water, so it sunk right to the bottom. Whoa, okay, it looks like about half sunk and half floated. So, now I'm gonna test out these matte pencils. And I think I'm gonna grab a seed one. Let's see, this looks maybe a little bit more. Let's try these. All right, so do you think it's gonna sink or do you think it's gonna float? This pencil right here floated, so I think it's gonna float too. Let's put it in, and wait. Aha, uh -huh. we were right. It's less dense than the water, so it's floating. But what about this pencil sharpener? Do you guys think it will sink or float? Because I'm looking in my tub of water, and the scissors, and the stapler, and the ruler went down to the bottom. So do you guys think this will sink or float? I'm gonna guess sink. Okay, let's try it. Huh? Whoa, it went straight to the top. That means it's less than water. Let's check out this paint. This one's actually really, really light. So I'm gonna guess that it's going to float too. Well, hoping that the water does not seep through inside because then it might sink. So let's check it out. Maybe it's like a little boat, like a canoe. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, I was right. It's definitely Folding, which means the density is less than one. And last but not least, we have this folder here. And it's kind of light, so I'm guessing it's gonna float, but you never know. So let's test this out. Three, two, one. Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa. Oh, what's going on here? Let me move this here and see what it does. Let me move all the other objects. Oh, it's like kind of floating, but kind of in there. I mean, it's really interesting because if you take a look at this folder, this side is floating and this other side is kind of like in the water. So, I really don't know what that means. Hmm. It must mean, kind of like the glue. Maybe it has a density close to the water. Yeah, possibly. Mm -hmm. And plus this side of the folder does have a little bit more ridges. So maybe mm -hmm. that's why I sink. Very interesting. I totally thought it was going to float to the top. Hmm, we learned a lot of things today. What else can we put in here? Oh, you could also use fruits, toys, snacks, or... Hmm... Sodas! Oh, soda would be a great one. So we hope you guys try this fun science experiment out at home and let us know how it goes. Don't forget to ask the parent for permission. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Okay, friends, that's the end of today's video. If you like more spicy experiments, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, Bye friends and princesses.